morning, it's your boy, Masterful27. It is Weedle Community Day. It is here. We've got a six-hour window of catching those shiny weedles. A bee drill is what it's all about. It is going to learn the special Community Day drill run as it's moved. And we're going to pop on that star piece very quickly. I think my throat is going to go very croaky today. I've come prepared. I always come hydrated for these events. But we're going to go for glory. So we've got the first checks here. Why is bee drill such a big deal with drill run? Well, we'll talk about that in a minute, but let's do some quick shiny checks. These are the first ones of this event so far. A nice little tendency to be on to start there. Already, I can see the spawns don't seem quite as dense as they did on CDOT Community Day. However, we're not going to be deterred by that one. It's a really, really great shiny family, I say family um, line in the game. We've got no one in here on the incense. Come on! Oh, I disappeared. Just I clicked on it. Second one. Not shiny on that one. But yeah, it's a really good line. So what is it that makes Weedle and Bee Drill so important when we talk about Great League and relevant? Well, it will be a very, potentially a very solid counter against Azamaril and Registeel. Those powerhouses that we encountered in the Great League. We're going to see a couple of shiny checks on the bar boat and Patrick, which eluded me on Spotlight Hour. No shinies here. We're going to catch these off camera. We're going to find somewhere else. And just like that, and just like that, we've just caught the first uh, shiny one. We get the sparkles on the screen there. That is the first shiny weedle. And bizarrely, it's the smallest Pokemon in the game. And the sparkles are barely seen on there, which is really, really cool. So we're going to, I don't know why I've just put a, um, well, a pineapple on there. But we're going to get the first shiny weedle. This is really cool. About 20 minutes into the event. And that is the first one in the bag. Really, really good. Very, very underwhelming on the Weedle. It's when we do those evolutions at the end of this vlog, you're going to see the absolute beauty, which is shiny Beedrill. But look at that. The first one is there. We're going to start piece on. It's also about Triple Stardust. That's what I was also mentioning. Triple Stardust today. Any good? Do you know what? It's probably not great, but it's not the end of the world. So that is the first shiny Weedle. We're going Triple Stardust with the star piece on. It means 450 Stardust per catch. But we've got the first one in the pocket. That is a great start. 갑자기 내게 나타나죠 너. 난 아무 말도 할 수가 없었지. 첫눈에 반한다는 이야기가 널 보는 순간 이해가 됐어. 매번 야야야야야. Oh, we've got some quite exciting times here. We have got potentially. Um, as I say that, we've got some Weedle checks and let's do these quick checks now. Hopefully we might get something shiny on this cluster. But actually, we are going to have an encounter with Giovanni. Um, Giovanni is actually at that poke stop behind me. Uh, we're going to probably have to click on it in a minute. We'll just do these shiny checks first. Uh, we need to get these Weedles. But I've been looking for Giovanni and I've had the odd check over the last few days. Here we go. So let's check it. I spun it earlier, realised it was with the man himself, Giovanni. And I've just done a bit of research. So we're going to battle this as part of this edition. However, we are going to need to go. And trust me on this one, I've been told this is going to work. He is going to start with Persian. So we need our Machamp. I've done the moves on these, by the way. So very quickly, if you haven't done Giovanni yet in June, this is what you need. Um, his second one, or his second Pokemon, but he is going to be throwing at us. If I just get there, uh, we need Mel Metal against it anyway. Hold on, bear me one second. It's Viperia. So we know that because I've just tried to do it already and it absolutely obliterated me. And then we're going to max out our Tyranitar with Smackdown and Crunch to take on Entai as the one. Now I've been told this will do it. We'll see how it works. Matchomp against Persian. Should start us off. I've maxed all these out anyway. So if you haven't done Giovanni yet in June, this is your opportunity. Let's see how this works. I've been told this will do it. We've got nothing to worry about. So counter and cross chop are what you need for Matchamp on the first one against Persian. It's about getting those shields down very quickly. And again, I've not found Giovanni in a long time, actually. So this is quite exciting. If we can get both shields down quickly. We're going to be all right. And already with the first one, we are absolutely smashing it. So Matt Champ, lead with Matt Champ against Persian with counter and cross chop. Because we're going to probably have to use one shield in a minute. Here we go. And you know what? I feel very comfortable using it there. Because when we have Mel Metal coming up against Rhyperior, we're going to absolutely smack that. And that's with Thunder Shock and Thunderbolt. Now, it wouldn't have done much damage there. It's protected us, though. 
and it means we'll get a bit of a lead on with Tyranita. Uh, Rhyperia, sorry, Rhyperia. We've already got a cross chop in there, and these will all be now unblocked because we've used the two shields. So it's a little bonus. I saw it on there and I thought, you know what, it'd probably be another decoy grunt, but it wasn't. It was Giovanni himself. And the advantage is we're going to get a couple of cross chops in here, unshielded, which actually means we'll do a little bit of damage before we have to use Melmetal. And that's a bonus in itself. Already super effective, halfway down. And do you know what, we're already into the amber, which is brilliant. If we can get a third one, there we go. A third cross chop in there in the end. That's brilliant. The sun's come out as well. We like the sunshine. Uh, and it means I can't see my screen that well, but that'll still do. Uh, we've already got Rhyperior into the red now. Wow. And that is still with the first lead Pokemon. So that's what you want. I've just made the wrong move there. So we'll change that and bring Melmetal back in. Mistake there. But here we go. Melmetal will finish this one off. And that's what we like. We get the charge move in there. Thunderbolt will do it. And like I said to you all, this is a really great opportunity to do this. If you come into contact uh, with Giovanni, this is what you need to do. It says it's not very effective, but it takes the power. Because Rhyperior is a beast and we know that one so let's get these ones done let's finish it off now actually do a bit more damage than i thought it would do uh, on melmetal but hey stick with me on that one that's the one it says to use and now we're going to go in with the final one and this is against entai itself now entai shadow is the, one of the most powerful fire type in the game if you roll your dice and get a good one that is we're going to see what we get on this one because i have got one of these already but i need a really decent one I'm a little bit annoyed, actually, because Melmetal has done a bit of damage there. Um, so, now, Smackdown and Crunch. This will finish it off for us. They're all super effective. Let's get there quickly. We've still got the shield as well. Already into the amber. But we're absolutely criticism. So this is really good. Uh, do this. Use this guide. Little bonus guide in the middle of this Weedle community day. Super effective. Well, it's not super effective. But it's taking it right down. All the fast moves are super effective. We've got the shield left. And we are going to finish this one off very, very quickly. So play it. Play it like this. Uh, I'm really pleased, actually. I did a bit of research on that one. We'll get these final ones in quickly. It looks closer than it actually is, but it's done. And there we go. That is Giovanni beaten. I think that's the second time I've beaten Giovanni. Possibly. But we're going to finish off another set of research and get the encounter with Entei. I've had this one for quite a while, to be fair. How had a chance to be a while to do the Rocket Leaders. 12 max potions. And here we go. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 balls. We're going to rescue it and we're going to do an IV check on this one. Shadow Entai. Is it any good? This is what we want. We need a really good one. It is one of the strongest fire type Pokemon in the game with its shadow form. But you've got to roll the dice on it. And if you get a good one, you're very, very lucky and very fortunate. Well, we got it on the first one there. That's a bonus. So Entai is caught. Let's do a very quick eye check, and then we're going to carry on hunting some Weedles. Wow, that is amazing. That's amazing. I'll take that. Wow, I think that's 13 attack, 10 defense, 14 HP. We'll keep that. That is my best one ever. My second one. I am absolutely buzzing on that one. Buzzing. Quickly check this Weedle on the incense after this one. And then we're going to get back out there and hunt some Weedles. Shiny Weedle. It's not, but we've just beaten Giovanni. Right, let's find those Weedles. It's quite nice to get out of the car, actually. We do some shiny Weedle checks here. Hopefully, we'll get something really good. Um, it's just nice uh, to get outside. Can't connect to the car. Well, that's always useful. So we've got a few more shiny checks to do here. One, can't actually see it because it is the screen brightness is really bad um, with this sort of partly cloudy weather. Uh, nothing there on the third one, but really buzzing with that entire. That was absolutely belting one. Uh, did not expect to get that on the shadow entire. Did not expect to bump into Giovanni today. Uh, that is the fifth one. And I think we've got one more here, which isn't shiny. It's not the end of the world. We'll do a little spin on here. The Weedle researchers today are actually pretty good, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, loads of stardust opportunities to get there. But those Weedles, nothing shiny there. We're going to carry on. Well, actually, there's a few things just to talk through um, on this game, on today's game as well. Things that you might not have known. And actually, things you probably do, but you just want to see me do it anyway. If you're great friends, your buddy will bring loads of Pokeballs to you during the event. They've got to be great friends uh, for you to receive that. Um, so remember that. Make the mistake that I did originally switch it over, bring about 50 Pokeballs. I'll bring it to you every half an hour. That's if you can't get out of the car anymore. And also, there's the surprise encounters on Go Snapshot. 
which is cool. So we're going to quickly do those. So there's five of them, uh, and you will get Weedle Surprise Encounters. Let's do a couple for the vlog, just so you can see it, because I think that's really, really cool. And we'll do it with a shiny Weedle, actually. We'll take the photo of a shiny Weedle, um, and hopefully uh, this, this will work very, very well. There we go, shiny Weedle there. Take the photo. There we go. There's the Weedle Encounter. And again... Um, if it's shiny, that's quite cool actually, I do like that one, <laughs> absolutely brilliant, and then it will come up on the map, and I think it will be shiny uh, when you see it on the map, but you can do that five times uh, during this event, we've got a few shiny checks just to do here, one more there, not a shiny, we really need something more now, we're over the hour in this event, and we've still got the one shiny weedle to show for it, really the minimum of three, that's what we need, because <laughs> that'll be a success then in itself. But nothing there. I think we did the incense one. Definitely not shiny, but we're going to keep hunting down those shiny ones and hopefully we'll get some wicked evolutions by the end of this edition. Well, we've got a few more cluster spawn here, her little weedles. It's been slow going. It's actually, I'm not going to lie to you, it's been really, really slow going today. Um, we are really, really struggling. The spawns are obviously lighter than they were on C Dot Community Day. That much is apparent so far. But it, I really want to get the uh, shiny living decks, that shiny line. Please, we just need that. Get that, it has been a success. What is the shiny you're after the most at the moment? I sort of shared on my Twitter feed. What is the shiny you guys are really looking for? Drop in the comments below what you're looking for the most. I really want Teddy Ursa. Teddy Ursa green. Teddy Ursa is one that I really, really, really want. It's an awesome, solid shiny, and that is one which is probably available more often right now. Uh, given its increased spawn rate in partly cloudy weather. Now we've got another one in there. Yes! Get in there! <laughs> oh, get in there. That has been a long time coming. That has been a long time coming. Thank you, shiny weedle gods. That is the second one. Oh, as it jumps, they jump very high for something so small. I think it feels slightly agreed that the sparkles do not stay tight around it uh, when it comes on the screen. That is the second one. It has been hard work. It's been hard work. Let's do a quick chi a quick shiny, shiny. A little Ivy check on this one very, very quickly. Is it any good? It's very good for defense. But once again, it's nothing really that special. We're going to get a really good one. I'm really confident today for B-Drill. What a great one for Drill Run uh, to use in the Go Battle League. But that is a belter. I think the incense one we've done already. That is the second shiny Weedle. Start this is treble. Everything's flying. We go again. Just like that, the third shiny Weedle. Wow. <laughs> I was just clicking on them in the car then. And then the third one came on there, and do you know what, I was going, do you know what, we've now got the Weedle train going. We've now got the shiny Weedle train going. I can relax once this one goes in that ultra Pokeball. One, two, and a three. And that is now the shiny living decks complete. We've done it, we've done all three. We can rest now, we can have some fun. We can pop the incenses on. Is that how we're gonna roll? No, of course we're not, we're gonna keep going. But let's have a quick check on this one. Again, it's one start, not great. 10, 10, and 5. Little pro tip for you. If you want to put a mossy lure on and you get a bee drill, back to back would have been nice, shiny weed. Ooh! If you put a, a mossy lure on a poker stop and you get a fully evolved bee drill, it will learn the special move. Drill run. So that's pretty cool. A little pro tip there. Have we done these ones? hasn't isn't facing us so that's a little clue that was really really cool i'm really happy with that one now it is now a success oh we've got a little hitman top there rare little spawn hitman top well I'll, I'll throw a ball at this one on the vlog no it's not gonna do it right we carry on we carry on we carry on we carry on we can't lose sight we need more of these and we need a great one with that special move Always like to try and do shout outs in the vlogs wherever I can. Me and Ad, Ad from down in Plymouth, West D. We are now ultra friends, which is pretty cool. Next stop, best friends, but we will go for it again. That's really cool. Like that, like that when it pops up in the game. One more check there that we haven't checked. It's still that normal one. Nice little shout out during this amazing community day. It's that time of the vlog where we do the evolutions, the shiny evolutions on Weedle for this community day, and I've just got a belter today. So this one is ranked 67th, 
um, in PvP in Go Battle League. So I'm just going to show you what we've managed to get here. This is amazing. Um, two attack, 14 defense, 11 stamina. But when you do a quick check on it, on, on the stats, it's going to be a 98.3% B drill. And when you click on it, it's excellent PvP IV. 2, 14, 11... 98.3 ranked 67th in Go Battle League as the sun comes out now. Amazing. So we are going to fully evolve this one to be drawn. These are the shinies. This is the shiny family to conclude this vlog. Hope you've enjoyed this community day vlog. It's been brilliant. Enjoyed the Weedle one. Beat Giovanni. Had a great time. And now we're going to do those shiny evolutions. This is going to be a belter. I'm really buzzing to make this B drill. I'm so happy with this one. We got the best till last. Did save it. We did save it. So Kakuna is a really nice green colour. We're just going to look at these shinies for a split for a little bit. Nice green Kakuna. You know, from its normal yellowy colour. Yeah, we'll have one of those anyway, one of the weaker ones. But there you go. And we're going to evolve this into Beedrill. And I am so excited for this one. This is the one that we've been waiting for. It has a Mega Evolution as well. And we're going to talk about Mega Evolutions in a minute as well. Quite a fitting time to talk about that one. This could be the one for Mega Evolution. I'm so excited by this. There it is. That is Shiny Beedrill. Amazing. 1110. Does not matter. We've already done the check, but we're going to do it again. That is your one. That is a B drill. 98.3. Excellent PvP. Absolutely stunning with that one. It's ranked 67. It'll be 1497. Hey, at the end of the day, what this does is just going to be absolutely amazing. It offers so much potential to see how this move works. Cannot wait with Drill Run. There it is. So excited for that one. So that's the end of the vlog. Please don't forget to smash a like if you enjoyed it with a thumbs up. But before I say the rest that I normally say at the end of my vlogs, we now have got something very quick to touch on. It has been dropped in the game that in 2020, Mega Revolutions, that is this year, it's been a rubbish year for all things outside in the real world, but Mega Revolutions are coming to Pokemon Go. If anyone saw the trailer, and we'll play that as we talk about it, it shows it. Now, Mega Revolutions, for those who don't know the history of them in Pokemon Go, they came in in Gen 6. That's when the Mega Revolutions first started. And there are numerous ones. My personal favourite is Mega Gengar. Absolutely love it. Now, when you played the games, you had to use either certain items or, or it was certain, certain things you had to do. It varied, which gave them that Mega Revolution. But it wasn't a fixed evolution. It would appear, do a, do a Mega Absolute Power Move. And then it revert back to its fully evolved form. Now, Pokemon Go, how will that happen? How will it work? Who knows? I think permanent Mega Evolutions would be amazing if they did stay in the game. Uh, they haven't really said anything more than showed a little video. Uh, and, and that's what we've got to go by. So we can speculate to our heart's content. But 2020, will we see Gen 6 drop in the game? It aligns up quite nicely. We're only in June at the moment. So, watch this space. But Mega Revolutions will be coming to Pokemon Go this year. That in itself is really, really exciting. And I have just got B Drill ranked 67 in Go Battle League with Drill Run, and it has a Mega Revolution, and it's shiny. Amazing times, amazing times to be alive. And I mean that sincerely in Pokemon Go. Well, please don't forget to ping a bell notifications on the channel if you enjoyed this one loads to do around this community today we had a my we just had a great time as the sun is still out but yes if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and those members of the massive gang thank you for being so truly amazing i'm gonna well just look at my shiny b drill i think why wouldn't i it is a thing of beauty and i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one but thank you for your support you're amazing the channel had a record Let's see if we can break new records. See you soon.